Shit. Well, Honda, it's time to go. Nope. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's what RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. You got my lovely white Johnny Lee of the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't ever seen. And today, we are reacting to D Gray Man. Because we got this crazy bitch with a bell, Lulu Bell, that is, terrorizing the group, man. Last time we left off, these guys, uh, you know, the organization members encountered mysterious cat that led them to this little broke down hotel and shit that didn't have no food and the only thing they was able to eat was cold milk with spoons and shit they didn't even put no cereal up in the milk didn't surprise no, no fruit loops no Nothing. fruity pebbles you know what i'm saying some Nothing. cinnamon toast crunch for real but you know as they come to discover Lulu was basically just leading them into a trap with this other little girl that's basically like an Akuma in disguise or whatever. And yeah, it was just a lot of bullshit. She disguised herself as Lena Lee and had them getting divided and split up and whatnot. But they ultimately came together and stuff like that. But Lulu was still, you know, she had a scope on them. She was like, I got something for y'all last next time. You know, well, next time. You know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all want to just pull up, feel free to do so. But yeah, man, these episodes have been really, really good, and we're enjoying it. I know um, the most recent YouTube video says otherwise, because we was like, oh, man, we getting tired of this show. Johnny's like, I hate this shit. Can't take this shit no more. I don't think I said that. That's exactly what you said. I don't know where to that. I do. But I yeah. Think I said it. Right? She said that, y'all. Y'all remember. So. I know y'all remember. Go ahead and rewind the tape back. But um, this episode, episode <coughs> 43, oh, we're going to be reacting to this one. This is called The Wandering Stone Status. The Wandering. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Just tell us. What'd you do with the statue, Salim? We won't leave you alone till we know. So unless you want to get hurt, start talking. Salim Bradley. do it. You have to give me a chance to explain. Explain what? Everything you say is a lie. No, I'm not lying. Stop it. Won't you at least listen to him? Don't waste your breath, Katya. I'm sure that no one here would believe me anyway. Go ahead, try your best. Come and kill me. Do it. You heard him. Okay, if that's what you really want. You fucked up with Zayda Kumi in disguise. Uh oh. Who's there? I haven't seen them before. Hey, this doesn't concern you. Oh, I assure you, gentlemen, we mean no harm. My friend and I are a little bit lost, and we're hoping you could give us directions. Yes, and maybe you could even help us find a meal. Corey, wait! Uh of course. Akuma in disguise. They're Akuma. Just show yourselves. <laughs> mm. uh, what the? That's funny. They can talk when they're disguised as human, but they act like they're just dumb. When they just show their true form. Well, you probably is not know. I don't mean to interrupt, but they're coming back. <sighs> oh, boy. What do you think y'all were gonna do? Did you not just see us kill those two things? Right, we'll never taste food again. Let's get out of here! Why run, though? They got away. Just let them go. No point chasing Y'all that tired from running that <laughs> short of a distance? Seriously, man. Sure? Positive. It's the truth. Bro, y'all already like know what it is. No Why do we have to go through this all the time? Every single time? Although I suppose they have good reason. Salim, please, tell us exactly what you saw. It was last night. I got back to the village late. I taken my time coming back from hunting in the mountains. Hey, what's the matter, Tanner? Like a Gantz alien. Remember when those statues came to life in Gantz mm. and was fucking everybody up? No, but that's impossible. Statues can't move like that. I saw her do it with my own eyes. I still can't believe that something made of stone could walk out here like that. But that's what happened. I did not take the statue. 
How would this bony a, ass do that? Why do you think that depends on how, how do you, how did, what? So you mean, do you guys like me? Uh-huh. Right so now, like a reject Naruto character. That's what I was thinking. Move around. There were a coma back there. Do you know of... What are you doing out here? That's the girl from the village. Let her go, I know her. Salim. Oh, pardon me. So you can understand why my father and the other men became worried when they learned it had disappeared. Salim said he'd seen it walking into the mountains, and in their fear, they blamed him. And what about you? Do you believe I'm a liar too, Katya? No, I've always believed in you. Listen to me. You're not a bad person, Salim. <laughs> Quit lecturing me. You act like my sister or something. Nigga, I'm the one who got Salim your back. Salim about our village only a short time ago. And my father and the other villagers don't right trust that much. Oh, I see. That doesn't help things, does it? By the way, I was wondering what brought you to our village. We only came to ask for directions. We're trying to cross through the valley and end up on the other side of the mountains. Why didn't you say so? Past the village, you'll see a suspension bridge. If you cross it, you'll be on the other side of the mountain in no time. Oh, thank you. That's incredibly helpful, isn't it? Yes, it is. But it looks like we shouldn't leave this village behind just yet. Yes. Do you suspect its innocence as well? A legendary stone statue suddenly begins moving around by itself? And Akuma are starting to appear at a nearby village? Yeah, I'd say it's very possible we're dealing with innocence. It's this way. I'm sure I saw the statue take this path. Just follow me. Listen, that dog is so adorable. It's probably it is. dangerous. Yes. It's very likely we'll be running into more Akuma. And it'd be much safer if you waited here. But I can't. The paths up here are winding and hard to navigate. Without me going, <sighs> we won't be able to find the statue. Why does man got all bandages? That's what I'm saying. See, if I bring the statue back to the villagers, show. then maybe they'll begin to trust me. Right, Katya? No. If you bring it back, they're going to be sure you're the one who took it. Because how would you know where it was? Exactly. But I have to come with you. Please. It's not a real fucking statue. Any fighting up there? I want you to promise me you'll stay down. You got it. Thank you, Alan. Your sense. We're on our way to meet Bookman. The plan is to get you healed as soon as possible. Then we can get back to our mission. I'm sorry, Lavi. Hey, did you ever get in touch with Alan and Corey? Uh-uh. I wasn't able to get through. There's no signal, and I think all of the mountains around here are preventing us from connecting through the golem. Oh, I hope they're okay. Well, now, as long as they stay together, I'm sure they'll be fine. As a matter of fact, I can almost hear them whining right now. <laughs> 20 bucks says they're starving. <laughs> Probably right. For now, we need to just concentrate on getting you well again, young lady, so we can join you. Mm. Alan, Corey, where are you? These rocks are incredible. I know. Over the years, rainwater and the elements have eroded them and created this terrain. It's easy to get lost out here, so we have to be careful. Whoa! What's wrong? I see it over there. Bruh, you should know. That's, you saw, That's her. There's no mistaking it. Come it's on, man. How are we gonna fall for this? I would attack. <coughs> I would too, but what's that? They're the ancient ruins. This may be the biggest. It was an old temple or something. Won't those I want to be. These motherfuckers. Ain't these the same ones that attack? Legendary stone statue would start to move. These gotta be different ones. I guess so. Well, I guess they'd have a hard time believing it at first. They probably think their eyes are playing tricks on them. Yes, but then there are other people who see things differently. Who would that be? Exorcists, of course. Uh, I see now. Uh. Take it off, girl. The exorcists are always seeking innocence. This trap will prove irresistible to them. And then... Leave the rest to me. Just a little longer. 
Wait for Madame Lulubel to give the signal. This place is full of statues. Where do you suppose the one we're looking for is hiding? There it is. It's like the scene from Power Rangers the movie. Yeah, See, it couldn't be Beavis and Butthead. They'll climb straight for the boobies. Hey, Bubba. <laughs> the dog is growing at it. That means something. Hey. Whoa, what's going on? I don't know. Just be ready. Busting at the ass. You didn't see this coming. Don't tell me. Well, listen to a little high eight, eh? Hey? Hey. Get rid of these motherfuckers. My, my, this would be quite a feast. It's like a Pizza Hut buffet. <laughs> <coughs> Hi, Intruding. Damn, that nigga bitch slapped the shit out of her, didn't he? Screw you guys! I'm going home! Right? You are a cat. Retreat! Fall back now! Man, please wipe him out while you still can. They're gonna let him get away. Those are innocents that away. need to be uh, liberated. Damn. Or liberated. I said, um, I, I said, oh, liberated. Come over this way! I think I found her! Back here. The real one? It sure is. This is her. She's the village's guardian angel. Everyone will be so happy she's been found, and peace will return to the people here. Yeah, the people are so fucking delusional. They worry about shit that they ain't got no business to worry about with this fucking Akuma attacking and shit. I don't think she was gonna give up that easy. You think so? Uh -uh, Using that statue, they had us trapped, so it doesn't make much sense. I don't understand it either. Hey, look, there it is! It's just like Selene told us. No. This bridge gives us a way to cross the valley. I hear. She was like, I'll save this for last. Exactly. This is her last resort. This is her last resort. And they can't fly. I knew it. She had put some kind of explosive on it. You stuck. They destroyed it. Damn them. They're obviously hoping to keep us stranded here by any way possible. Huh? What is it? Is something wrong? Oh, just thought I saw something. <laughs> well, at least we were able to delay our enemies for now. Taking out the bridge bought some time before they got together with the others. Good strategy, Madame Lulu Bell. 
Yes, I know. And Failures some of us can't mind this. You can have a Kuma arm to God, extend sure across. I don't know if it's that long. Shit, it wouldn't have to be that long that day. It's like just jump as far as you can and just let the arm do the rest. Or throw Crory across. I don't know if that would work. It would have to, shoot. But guys, that was episode 43, The Wandering Stone Statue. That was a pretty pretty good episode. The only thing that bothers me is just how stupid the uh, civilians are, which isn't no surprise because the organization and all the how cool stupid and shit. the exorcists are. Hell. I mean, I'm just like, man, if you see people transforming into monsters shortly before people destroy them, like, you should know that they aren't Stop real people. You. Like, what more evidence do you need? You know, like, that really scares you. Well, there like, is a statue that is walking around, around, but they didn't see it. Only my boy saw it. You know, the dude with the um, hidden nobody headband from Naruto. You know what I'm saying? With the bandage just wrapped around his body. He looked kind of clean with that on. I, I did. I just don't know why he had that on. Just to look clean. I guess. I guess so. Yeah, but I'll give that episode an A. I'll give it an A. Yeah, that was a pretty decent episode, yeah, man. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, I don't have anything else to add to that except that these guys are just going to have to find some kind of other way to get to, what is this? What's his name? Master Circus? Or something like that. You can kind of get to Alan's Master. Yeah, his name Master Circus or something like that. No, or Master. No, it ain't no goddamn Master Circus. I forgot. My Master Circle. Thought it was General Cross. Oh, yeah, Cross. I knew it was some kind of shape or whatever. General Cross. Yeah, Master Cross. Yeah, we're going to have to see him get to Master Circus and then jump to the Cross. So, yeah. Well, anyways, guys, we're going to keep it moving and grooving to episode 44. So let's go ahead and jump into this because Johnny got some paperwork she got to fill out. And yeah. <laughs> it looks so weird. Right on my helmet, baby. I'm fine. Hold on. Boy, that made my stomach go through my throat. Just like the old geezer said. We need to kill it, aren't we, an exorcist? What are we arguing for? Nah, because he'll bring more of them back if he do yeah, that. Sure. Like, he'll draw more attention. I'm and sorry, she's not up to fight. I'm using my big hammer. The scorch has too many twists and turns. That's okay. I can manage just fine. Just let me know if it gets too hard for you. This is about the most indirect way to get to where we're meeting Bookman. Safety is most important. They're trying to split you up even more. Oh, come on, man. Don't go for it, bruh. Well, he don't know. Don't he remember her? I don't think he ever saw her. I thought she was there. No, she wouldn't. Or maybe she was. Yeah, there was something in the city when they... Yeah. Looks like you're doing fine. You, you can my shut the life, fuck up. And my chest are all okay. <laughs> you want to go with us? No, yeah, please. It's more fun to have a travel companion. Besides, we're going the same direction till we exit the gorge. Come on, my name's Mimi and I'm harmless. What do you say? No, absolutely not. Going with us will get you into more trouble. But I'm scared and fragile. I have to run an errand in the town up ahead and I don't want to go by myself. Please, sir, I need you oh, to protect me. <laughs> but obviously won't take of no course. for an answer. What harm could it do? Fine then. But once we leave this gorge, we'll separate. Can I help? I can carry it back for you. Thanks, but I think we can manage just fine. Oh, don't be silly. Here, I'll fan for you. How about that? Lena Lee could use it more than me. <laughs> okay. The evil you. ass fans. You don't I know what she can do with them stinky things. Think so well. Maybe it would be best if we all stopped here and took a break. Put him up her nose. No, I'll be all right. <laughs> Will you now? Let's take a minute here. Looks like you want to play with my hammer. You better ask. <laughs> I slept and now I'm all Bitch, get the fuck out. Man, that boy, I wouldn't be no Jeez, good as a damn hairdresser. She's going to pull you in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. she actually did something pretty cool, but most people can't do that. No, they can't. Time for a change of plans. 
I hope this is just a lot of goofy shit. <laughs> what did I tell you? You yesterday. know he is a simp for the ladies. Damn. You want mom from sex? Men just lose all their sense. Me. I just wouldn't have failed. Oh, she didn't fall. <laughs> I kind of like how I'm not even gonna lie. This is kind of funny, but I like it. Yeah. It's like a kuma like her are usually stupid as fuck. I would push her in the river and hope she drowns mm -hmm. or go down the waterfall. She worrisome. She is, boy. Just you wait and see, Lulu Bell. It's all for you. Girl, you more annoying than a city girl. Your attitude too, shit. Yeah. For you. Little Lynch, that bad weave you got on your head, girl. Little Miss Pigtails. I wonder why I feel so irritated. I mean, she's in a coma. You know, sometimes they have those flashbacks, though. She but just involved a coma or something like that. She's kind of like what's her name, like Iliad. Anything yeah. Once upon a time in a land far from here. When you come sure you got the backstory. Princess. The princess trusted her maid more than anyone in the world. So much so that she would ask her opinion on everything. The maid was loyal and served the princess well. Living up to that level of trust. Oh, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. But one day, the maid died. She died died called her name. No, the princess so died. And destroyed princess signed a contract oh. with me, the Millennium Earl. Well, to bring her reliant friend back to life. Because the man breaks out your ass. By chilling the princess and taking all her skin, wearing it with pride as if it were a brand new dress. Once upon a time, in a land far from here, there lived a beautiful princess. Within her body lies the soul of her maid, where they both live in glorious mm -hmm. harmony. That's why she's be doing all that maid work here. It's no sweat. It's a lot better than carrying the old panda on my back. Her breathing's become more shallow and her pulse is weakening. I better pick up the pace. It looks like it's about to rain. Rainwater's leaking from the wall. Soil must be weak here. Huh? Mimi, run! We have to hurry. Who's she gonna try to? Lobby, just go on without me. Was she got up in a briefcase? Oh, she carried that for them. Here we go. Oh. Hey, we get y'all stuff out of this. Got the hammer, right? No, she probably stole it in that time. I didn't see it on his hip. Are you okay? Don't worry about me. Just hang in there. Mimi? 
Looks like someone lost his innocence. So you are my enemy. You should be careful. Letting your guard down when you're tired. Yes. <sighs> Boy, they just been playing, y'all. Your innocence will now be destroyed by the one and only Lou Bell. No. If y'all kill my nigga, I swear. These fans are very efficient at cutting, you know. Big ass Princess Katana. Y'all both gonna die if he try to run off without you. I couldn't live with myself if you died because of me. No way. Resisting won't do you any good. You're both going to die no matter what you try to pull. Exactly. Why does it feel so wrong? <coughs> Don't worry, me. The kiss feeling will be gone as soon as you kill these exorcists. Nice, so what you do? Made a path. Cleanup is complete. I'm sure Madam. You don't see no damn blood on them blades. Ah, what is that? So tell me, how does it feel to be attacked by your very own weapon? Damn. You think? I can't believe she still had enough energy to do that. Your luck has now run out, exorcist. Prepare to die. No. The hell is that? Hey, let's go. Shame on you for falling into the enemy's trap. I need to treat her immediately. You can settle this, right? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky that I happened to run into the Akuma who was holding it. Lecture me later, Panda! Smash the shit out of her. Bang bro style. <laughs> Bitch. Why you don't pick another one? This is only offensive attack special. I guess because I get tired of looking at this. Right, I was like, give me something like a lightning tiger or something. I let her get away. How, man? I stay in the inconvenient. It's like all of these. Um, um, I can't believe I failed. This is on a little and bit so incompetent in some too. way. Oh, this is horrible. I guess I'll have to wait longer to see Madame Lulubelle smile. I'm done with the treatment. Now we must wait for your energy to come back, Miss Lina Lee. Thank you for saving me. Geezer, watch her, okay? I need to go lie down for a bit. Lavi? <laughs> Thank you for not leaving me behind. I really appreciate it. You're a real one, boy. You was a real to act one. Old, macho. It's pathetic, really. <laughs> it's okay. I just wanted him to know how grateful I am. <laughs> That's great. Lena Lee and Lavi are going to be all right. Since the Akuma went and destroyed the bridge we were trying to <laughs> cross, dude. Corey and I had to take the long way back there. So where exactly are we meeting up with them? I am so sorry, Lulu Bell. So, are you going to, uh, fire me? I deserve my punishment. Uh, Madam Lulu Bell, does this mean I'm still your maid and you're not going to fire me? 
It takes a lot of time and effort to find a maid who's willing to tend to my nails. I'm going to make your nails shine like the stars in the sky, I promise! <laughs> Try it. Oh, guys, that was episode 44, Iron Fan Made, man. Yeah, as I suspected, I knew this chick was um, an Akuma that just had her own, you know, backstory pertaining. What happened? What was going on? Oh, shit, I thought I farted a little. My breath sank or something. No, he was covering your nose. Yep. Yeah, I was like, man, I'm trying to... I think I'm trying to break wind up in here or something, man. But yeah, this chick, she was an Akuma who has her own interesting backstory. You know, she just so happened to be a maid or she's a maid wearing the body of her former princess. So that is very cool. You know, it seems like she's very cognizant of what she was. So that gives me an idea that maybe she's just like one of those more advanced versions of Akuma. That, you know, is just very, very aware of a lot of things. But her memory is a little jaded in that area. But she starts to gain some of it back when she sees Lobby and the shit him and Lena Lee are going through. And kudos to fucking um, Lobby, man, for just being a trooper and, you know, carrying most of the weight, literally, with Lena Lee as she was sick, you know. I just hate how these characters, like, the, the fucking... The Noah, uh, what is it, Noah clan or clan of Noah, they just seem to have the upper hand and they're just doing all these different tactics to get over on these guys, you know, it's like... And they fall for it every time. Right, it's like we lost 144 members of the organization. What more did you need to get yourself back in order, man? Like, what more? What more do you want from me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, man, Um, if I were to grade that one, I'll give that one a... I'll give it an A plus. I enjoyed that one. What about you? Yeah, I'll give it an A plus. It was like the right amount of action and shenanigans to go along with it because the main character was being goofy as fuck trying to get this dude's hammer. You know, and I thought that was I knew that was gonna be the running gag of this episode. But that's basically all you we have for you guys today. We're gonna wrap it up. We're pretty much done reacting tonight, right? But yeah. This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. Girl John Lee on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. Catch you guys on the next reaction too. D Gray Man. Peace.